What's going on guys? This is David here. Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your device on iOS 9.0.2 with the all new Pangu 9.4 Windows. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get started in today's video. So as you guys can see, we are on Windows and I have my iPhone 6s right here. It is on iOS 9.0.2 as you guys can see. Fresh restore, I'm gonna slide the setup and then don't send diagnostics to Apple. We're gonna just go ahead and randomly choose a display zoom. We'll keep it on normal and then welcome to iPhone. So we're gonna go ahead and press get started. So I'm pretty sure this jailbreak will work if you do not actually go ahead and restore, um, but I would definitely recommend you go ahead and do so. I do that every time I jailbreak, restore, and then uh, setup is new. And then after I set up as new, I go ahead and put my backup back on there after I get the jailbreak fully finished. Um, that way, you know you're not going to run into any potential issues or anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to go to the link in the description, which should be en.pangu.io. The guys are back at it again. We haven't seen them since last year with Pangu 8, but they are back with Pangu 9 to jailbreak iOS 9 through iOS 9.0.2. So you can go ahead and press the little Windows download button. Currently, right now, there is not a Mac jailbreak. So um, unless I, you know, mysteriously go somewhere again, like with the other jailbreak where I couldn't, you know, cover it because I was at camp with the whole Mac jailbreak when that came out with Ty G, I should uh, theoretically have that. Uh, you know, on my YouTube channel, I should be able to cover that. But if I go into settings general and about and I go under version, you guys can see I am on 9.0.2. So obviously this jailbreak will work. Uh, so if you're on uh, 9.1, if you're on one of the betas, I think it may work. I'm not entirely sure. So let's go ahead and plug in our device. You have to make sure, obviously, that you do go ahead and install Pangu 9. Now, the good thing about this jailbreak is, unlike Taiji, it does not actually require you to go ahead and downgrade iTunes. So you actually have to have the latest version of iTunes in order to do this. So right-click, run as administrator, and then it's going to say, please connect your device and click start. Um, so it says Pangu jailbreak for iOS 9 version 1.0.0. So we're going to go ahead and plug in our device to the computer now. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so here we go. So it does say trust this computer. Now, this is actually the first time if you restored uh, and set up as a new device that it would go ahead and do this. So just go ahead and press trust if you get that message. And then it should detect the device. It says David's iPhone, iPhone 8, 1, so the iPhone 6S, iOS 9.0.2. The jailbreak is ready. So we're going to go ahead and press the start button. Now, it says jailbreak notice. Please carefully read the following notices. One, the jailbreak may lead to data loss. Please make a full backup with iTunes before using Pangu jailbreak tool. Use the tool at your own risk. Please enable the air airplane mode uh, for improving the speed and access of the tool. We suggest you back up the device and restore it if your devices have many apps installed or use a lot of data. Also, another thing you need to know is make sure to turn off Find My iPhone in settings, iCloud, and then Find My iPhone or sign out of it completely. So we're ready. We're going to press start jailbreak. 15% installing jailbreak app. Wait a moment. And there's a Pangu app. And for some reason, a WWDC app. <laughs> so I'm not really sure why it did that, but it says 30%. Um, and, you know, it, they spelled backing up wrong, but, you know, what can you do? It's the translation. Anyway, configuring the environment, 45%. And yeah, so this jailbreak is super easy, super fast. 55% uh, waiting for device to restart, and you will see that your device goes ahead and reboots. So going to wait for that reboot right over there. And I'm just really, I really did not think this was going to happen today. This just dropped out of nowhere. Here the device is rebooting. And I had, uh, you know, PSATs today, so it was just crazy. 65%, please unlock the device and enable airplane mode again. So we're just going to go ahead and do that now. So we're going to go ahead and unlock the device and then swipe up on control center and then toggle on airplane mode once again because it does go ahead and toggle it off. So just toggle it on and it will go ahead and keep the process going. 75, please unlock the device and run the Pangu app. So here it is. So we're going to go ahead and run the Pangu app. So it says Pangu jailbreak for iOS 9.0. Pangu jailbreak needs the permission of accessing photo library. Please click the accept button and choose OK button in the next system dialog. So accept. And it says Pangu would like to access your photos. Tap OK. And it says keep your device connected. Do not close the app. 85% uploading jailbreak resources. And it's going to go ahead and finish up here in a little bit. So it will go ahead and redirect to the Photos app. As you guys can see, 90% jailbreaking, please wait. 
and we're going to go ahead and wait a little bit longer, 98% final cleanup, and then it should tell us that the jailbreak is complete soon. It says 100% jailbreak completed, and then our device should restart. So there it is, and it should restart any second, and here we go. So there it is. So like I said, I was just extremely surprised that this had happened. I really did not think this was going to be happening until at least the end of October, so close to Halloween. It's actually almost the one-year anniversary since Pangu 8 came out, so it's pretty, it's actually uh, pretty interesting how this dropped. So now, as you guys can see, the jailbreak has finished. On the tool, it says David's iPhone, iOS 9.0.2, already jailbroken. We can slide to unlock, swipe up, uh, disable airplane mode, and then swipe over, and there is Cydia, guys. So we did get our iOS 9 device jailbroken. I can't believe I'm saying that, that already an iOS 9 jailbreak has come out. So we can go ahead and close the computer, unplug the phone from the computer, and get the computer out of the way, and now just focus on the phone. And if you blink... You might actually miss this. That's how quick it is. Preparing file system, city will exit when complete. And boom, there it is. It took that long. Pretty short, huh? Anyway, slide over and there is Cydia once again. Open it up. And this is the fully working Cydia on the iPhone. As you guys can see, iPhone 8 Con 1, iOS 9.0.2, Cydia 1.1.14. So it is the latest version of Cydia running on the iPhone 6S. And there it is. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. That about does it for this video. Let me know down in the comment area below. Are you guys surprised that an iOS 9 jailbreak is already out? All right, guys, but seriously, that does it for this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Twitter to get notified about when I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, this is David, signing out. Peace.